Well, hello there, and welcome to the second pre-production behind the scenes video of my latest short film, The Second Target. Now, what we're gonna go over in this video uh, is the rest of the pre-production. So we have just finished Don't Open the Door, right? So after the Jurassic pre-production, after summer 2016, where we couldn't make the film, we started working on Don't Open the Door. So in February 2017, Don't Open the Door is published and me and Andrew go right back into the second target. So we go over the script again and uh, we do a fifth draft with some changes after we laugh a lot at the other things that were written in the last draft because you know Boss, there are two targets. They're both in the state of Nayarit, in a small village in Los Harcones. A drug dealer had settled down there. Pretty amateur often pays his own products. He doesn't have a factory, he just buys from others and sells it at half the price. Not too smart, but his income is quite big. You must kill him and whatever defense he's got. So we of course started rewriting and from just imagine from that fourth draft where we had left off we've done five more so we ended up with nine drafts now that's a ton of extra improvement so of course after rewriting a little bit we started again going uh, on location at the houses and figuring out the choreography and once again that first beginning until stabbing marco remained the same one thing that happened though the grass had grown a lot a lot a lot now that was a problem and we knew we had to go uh, like right before filming and clean some paths over there and also take down some little bushes that would block some paths so we had to do a little cleaning over there because nature is just wild just wild so after that we had to practice our choreography so Andrew found some of his classmates who were extremely excited to do this and they were just amazing and there were three guys and these three guys they played all of those 12 guards so that's why we had those masks uh, and different wardrobe and also our three guys they are Vladimir and two Eugenes so the nickname of one of them is Eugen, so I'm gonna call him that, that just, that's just his nickname, so. Uh, and Vladimir also plays the inspector uh, at the beginning of the film. So to make a nice segue, we found our actors who had to do the other part. So the boss is played by Jackie, the doctor is played by Thomas, uh, Drake's babysitter, the enforcer, Bruce is played by David and then we have Mike who plays uh, the Mafia chief we also had and this was a last-minute little uh, change thing we also had Emmy who played uh, the little uh, uh, hostage girl over there so we started doing the acting rehearsals with the guys and we we're about at the eighth uh, seventh or eighth draft when we started practicing these and the lines would change but we would work with them uh, it was just a whole heap of fun doing this and practicing the choreography as well and uh, right before uh, shooting we had uh, a general sort of uh, final uh, rehearsal including choreography and acting and everything and it was very 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 fun and it was right we we, we had just changed um, the the draft from eight to nine because um, my assistant director Vali came in and he came up with uh, tons of very good ideas some we could implement some we couldn't but he really updated uh, that script like it took it to the next level made it a little more believable and made Andrew's character Drake Wilder uh, a little more sympathetic Catalin who hired uh, the me the equipment um, had this very cool place right behind his studio and that's where we shot Drake's safe house in the end so again at the seven and the in the seven or eighth draft I got Mary uh, who did the storyboarding and the storyboarding does help you a ton some people like it some people don't for such a thing of the like this massive project uh, with the very complicated shots and ideas and a uh, very short time to make it I wanted to storyboard and thank God I storyboarded because I realized some things that I had in my mind for shots 
wouldn't work out. And Mary is a fantastic storyboard artist and she also actually painted the mask, so... <laughs> and also Catalin uh, also helped me find the makeup artist, Flori, and she is just a fantastic makeup artist. She did some great wounds and she did some amazing sort of uh, aging to make our teenage actress appear a little more like 25, 30, you know? Uh, so she is just fantastic, brilliant and hats off. And uh, Catalin also helped me find another guy to a sound recordist uh, on set. So thank you very much to all of you guys as well. So also by the eighth draft, when we kind of thought we had like the principal, the main props locked, we started searching for the props. So like the radio and uh, the fall mattresses, the tatamis. Uh, we had to search for uh, uh, chairs tables and many things it was a ton of fun so that's it in the last week before filming uh, I started scheduling and uh, I that's when uh, I talked with Vali the assistant director and we had those changes for the last rehearsal it was all great all fun we're gonna shoot the first day but you're gonna see some of the problems that we had on the first day of production in the next video until then go make a movie bye I did it again, god damn it.